Once again, I find myself distracted and staring off into the tank. But we've got a job to do, and that is to acclimate these butterfly fish. But first, let's see what the test results are. According to the color scale, there is zero ammonia in the tank. There is zero nitrite in the tank. And the pH looks like a strong 8.3, 8.4. And our new additions appear to be casually and comfortably acclimating themselves to the new water in their buckets. Okay, and here is Williams pressure washer arrangement. We have a sump pump connected to a short garden hose that in turn connects to our magic wand with a nozzle on the end of it. And the idea is that we'll be able to blow <coughs> the algae off the tank. What I mean is blow the algae off the sculpture. And by the way, the reason for the sump pump is we want to recirculate salt water from the tank through the pressure nozzle. We would not want to hook this up to a faucet of fresh water. Because again, this is a saltwater aquarium. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> there could be paint left on the sculpture. <laughs> so the idea is that we're going to blow or blast the algae off the artificial coral sculpture. At least that's the idea. It kind of doesn't really seem to be doing it at all, does it? Oh yeah, oh yeah, something's going on. Well, it was a good and inexpensive attempt uh, to try to be able to blast the algae off. Uh, it just doesn't seem to generate enough pressure uh, and, and has very little effect, really. So the rigged up pressure sprayer seems to work okay on the green algae, but not on the black algae, the hard to get off stuff. So we're probably going to have to pursue a real um, pressure washer. In the meantime, it's back to the old hand driven bristle brush. It seems to do an okay job. The biggest problem is I can't reach very far down into the tank with it. So the issue surrounding the use of the uh, bristle brush on the pole um, is basically comes down to manual labor. It's a whole lot of work. Um, and the end result is that this algae, uh, it just you would think it would brush right off, but it doesn't. It almost seems to become impregnated uh, into part of the coral. Um, if you take a look here, uh, you can kind of see the ends of the corals are starting to get brown. And so as you push on these tubes or these fans, uh, they being plastic just tend to bend out of the way. Uh, so I do think that the pressure washer ultimately uh, will be the way to go. We just have to now look into a pressure washer. So it's just about time to introduce the butterfly fish into the tank. So be sure to tune in for episode number three. But before I let you go, I'd like to point out some of the fish that are already in the tank such as this hybrid lemon peel and half black angel or the bicolor angel and there's also a flame angel and flame back angels in the tank as well.